Hello guys, I am going to talk about what I was thinking um, whilst I created this painting. Here we go. Okay, so usually when I start a sketch, sometimes I have no idea what I want to do, I just want to sketch. Uh, for this one, I think I just wanted to practice um, painting the eyes so I needed um, I needed a character and that was the reason why I created a sketch um, I saw a picture of um, of an African looking ba uh, a black uh, ethnic group that had this sort of blonde hair or blonde colored looking hair and I thought that was very interesting so I added that um, to this character um, I am working on procreate by the way if you're wondering and I have this really nice brush for uh, fluffy hair which I really like now I am creating um, a system that will help me identify the planes of the face so so that it will be easier for me to add the dark and light um, tones to it um, this was also sort of a painting exercise as it were because I have been trying to use um, the smudge brush in photo, I mean in uh, Procreate and this is me testing it out to see if I can blend all these tones easily but yeah as you soon find it looks very it doesn't look as soft as I want it to and you have to spend a lot of time trying to even make it um, softer and you get some artifacts on the faces as well if you look on the left hand side of the face you see some colorization going on in there that I just don't think looks nice um, so I decided to start again because um, at the end of the day I want to create a workflow that I can replicate over and over but also very quickly so I decided to start with the soft brush um, to put some basic tones in there and figure out the lighting um, so I was quite happy with uh, the lighting coming from the right. I very much love cinematic lighting at the moment, so that's what I tend to I, I tend to favor that type of lighting, um, uh, because it just looks a little bit dramatic, to be honest. But that's what I currently like. Um, so after laying down those initial uh, soft shadow on each uh, part of the face um, now I just add more and more darker tones and I'm trying to stay true to the to the original sketch you see I have overlaid um, the the uh, what's it called now the plain sketch that I did earlier on uh, just to still help me figure out where to place um, the different tone changes um, very soon I will soon start working on the background the background is just a picture that I tried a lot of different pictures to be honest um, but Eventually, I, get, I got the one that is on the final image. All I did was grab the photo, blurred it out, um, try to see which one would favor the main focus, which is this child's um, head. So I don't want anything to distract from the main focus, so I try not to create contrast in areas that I don't need. So eventually, I still will work on the background and 
soon because this current gray isn't doing it enough just yet but it's getting there um, now I am adding some more ambient occlusion this is something that I'm still literally still working on trying to and um, trying to use more ambient occlusion um, because I think from what I'm learning so far it's where it's where a lot of form definition happens um, so I am trying to improve that as well and um, in fact some of the paintings I'm currently working on has a lot of 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 is allowing me to practice that which is nice um so yeah the painting is almost coming to an end now um just adding some subsurface scattering on the skin um i must admit it's quite a bit here but you get the idea so that was just a quick overview of how i painted this thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel um, so that you'll be notified when i upload new videos thank you for your support